This right here is how much of your mind you're not utilizing if you haven't reprogrammed your subconscious mind for success. If you don't use it, it will use you. And if you don't shape it, your environment sure will do that for you. What you see as your conscious mind, your thoughts that you are aware of, that you actually pay attention to, is only the tip of the iceberg when it comes to what you have in here. And if you want to experience a higher level, a more full and rich version of your life in any area, whether you want better relationships, health, if you want to improve your finances, or even if you want to grow spiritually, it doesn't matter. You have to take control of this thing that's underneath it all and running your life on a day-to-day -day basis. You see, our conscious mind really is only engaged when we're listening, watching, or paying attention to something that really, really matters to us, right? You might go to a concert and you'll be fully pulled into the experience. You might be at work and you're completely zoned out of your experience and simply running through thoughts in your mind or you're caught up in a different loop of stream of thought or social media or whatever it is, we are very rarely fully and entirely present and even when we are, we rarely take the opportunity to reprogram our subconscious mind so that we can experience a better life even when we're not 100% aware and present. So I'm giving you the opportunity today through a few habits, through a few simple routines to really make a drastic shift in your life. You see, our patterns, our rituals, they really determine what kind of person we become and what kind of life we experience. And so, you know, people drive in their car, listen to music, and then they go around all day singing and promoting that music because it becomes an automatic habit. You listen to that stuff, it gets stuck in your brain. Those catchy tunes are written very much so deliberately on purpose that way so that it'll stick in your mind. And you know, uh, some people benefit from that, but you don't usually end up benefiting from that. So what I'm sharing with you today is so that you can benefit, so that you can grow, so that you can be happier and more fulfilled in your life. And it really isn't that complicated. We make our subconscious mind seem like some scary different part of our brain that we can't reach into that's this awkward place that you definitely don't want to go full of cobwebs and it's just a nasty place and you don't want to go there. But the truth of the matter is that it's a place you definitely want to go. And I want you to notice before I even share the tips with you, before I share all the tricks that will help you fix the problem, look at what the problem is. I mean, what is your subconscious mind doing to you right now? What are your daily rituals and patterns that you're engaging in? And are they serving you towards whatever your purpose in life is? Whatever it is that you want to do, are your rituals and your routines and your subconscious supporting that path, that journey? Because if they're not, you got 95% of yourself playing on the wrong team. And this really cannot work, the whatever it is, the goal that you want. It will not happen if you're playing with 5% of yourself wanting to go there. So to get your subconscious mind on your side, a few quick tips. Number one, okay, this one's huge. If you can talk to your subconscious mind, as crazy as it sounds, crazy principle, if you can talk to your subconscious mind and tell it what you want, it's gonna be a lot easier for it to actually know what to do. And your subconscious mind really reads into a certain kind of language. It doesn't understand the difference between I want and I don't want. And I've talked about this before in my videos. So if you say, uh, don't drive into the lamppost or don't walk into the lamppost, it's likely that you're gonna end up in the lamppost. However, when you focus on let's go straight forward, just forward, down the road, that's where we're going, then that's where you tend to go. <laughs> you know, you really drift off of where your attention is placed. And your subconscious really wants tangible, real information about where to go, not where not to go and not what we maybe one day want to go, right? So when people set goals, they say, yeah, I would wish to have this once upon a time. Or they say, I really don't want that. I really want to stay away from this. And your subconscious goes away. Well, okay, I'll focus on that or I'll focus on this. And it focuses on the problems, blows it up and makes it like this huge thing. And now you're wondering, why do I keep experiencing this, you know, in my life? It's that simple. So to change it, clear goals, clear, clear vision about where you want to go. Stop this fluffy nonsense. People, they float and stream throughout life. 
They don't really take control and take charge. And if you want your subconscious to work for you, that's why successful people always do this, okay? So make a decision that this is where I'm going or this is where I'm going and keep going there. Your subconscious mind loves to see consistency, okay? So for me, when I set my goals, I stay with them for a very, very long time. They're very clear. I'm very much so on purpose until I get there and I don't let things sidetrack me because if you started something and then you get distracted and you go over here and you go over there, then your subconscious goes, oh, okay, well, we're just floating around and it's that's our pattern. And then it keeps repeating that pattern and it keeps going. So if you wanna break out of that, find a you know, certain goal, be very specific, and just go towards it until you accomplish it. And you can build on your successes. You don't have to take on the world first time, okay? You can really just start with something small, you know? For me, I remember that even just making one video uh, was a major, major accomplishment. And just staying with it for a week or for a month, and doing it every day, and then you get into a routine, a habit. Before you know it, you improve, you improve, you improve. It could be anything, right? Even exercise for me, and, and, and I remember the, the past season I started skiing and I'd never cross country skied in my life and then before you know it by the end of the season I'm in the best shape of my life because I stayed with it I'm going every week it's consistent that's what I want you to do if you want to experience a shift and if you want your subconscious mind to play on the same team as you start taking on some of those routines and set clear goals about where you want to go another thing that is amazing that's tip number two about how to reprogram is literally talking to your subconscious mind, not through mental language and ideas about where you wanna go and writing down your goals. I'm talking about really communicating, hey, this is what I want. Usually, you can do that in the form of an incantation or an affirmation. These are my two favorite techniques. Now, by far, for me, incantations are way more powerful. An incantation is something that is emotional. You say it to yourself, an affirmation is saying, this is what I want, this is what I want, this is what I want. An incantation would then be, I will have this, and I am this, I am capable of this. Big difference there, because affirmations, they do sink into the subconscious, but nowhere near as powerfully as when you connect emotionally through an incantation. So, one of my incantations, I now command my subconscious mind to support me in hitting a higher state, a peak state of mind where I'm fully present, vibrant, overflowing with positive energy. I command myself to be in peak state in order to add as much value as possible and make a true difference in people's lives. Right? Here's an abundance one. You want one for wealth, right? Wealth flows in massive abundance in my life. It is as simple as breathing and the amount of value that I bring to such an extreme that I cannot help but become financially successful. It's great, work wonders. Uh, people like Tony Robbins, you see them, you know, they talk about it. Their income goes from zero to hero in no time because they use the power of their subconscious mind. I've done the same exact thing, gone from janitor to motivational speaker. And these techniques are not some fluffy idea that maybe works Top performers in the world apply this. The Jordans, the Ronaldos, you know, the Obamas even. And you see Oprah Winfrey with her network talking all about, you know, life skills and how you can use these techniques to live a better life. And it really is that simple. You have to start to apply these. Don't think it's a good idea, okay? Number three, audiobooks. How many times have you listened to the radio in your car or, you know, maybe a CD or some songs on iTunes on your iPhone, right? As you're going throughout your day and doing little things, you want that in your ears, right? You want something playing, you want to be entertained. Well, you can switch very, very quickly. You can make a lot of progress by inserting positive, powerful, insightful information that will help you towards your goals. If you even did one book a week, or one book a month even, on audio, about whatever field you're going into or whatever you care about, whatever you want to improve, a skill that you want to learn, a language you want to learn, you just play that in your ears instead of random music, pop music that's, you know, top of the charts, you want to listen to that stuff. That's brainwashing you with their lyrics, right? And not a lot of people like to hear it, but it's the truth, you know? It's hard to break out of that chain if you're in it. I know because I was there myself. Same with, you know, video games. What do you think that's doing to your brain? I mean, come on, realistically. TV shows, the news, if you're reading the paper, what's that doing to your mind? You think, oh yeah, massacre, great. I feel good for the day. <laughs> no, thank you, I'll pass. I'd rather hear about, you know, how to be a better version of yourself, how to improve your life, how to get better at a skill, how to learn the piano, I don't know. Whatever it is that you want, 
read, listen to books about relationships, if that's the area that you care about, or health, nutrition, whatever it is that you want to improve, focus on it, give it time, give it attention. Your subconscious mind will really understand what you want when you start feeding it with what you want through incantations, through audiobooks, through clear goals, you can begin to achieve a much better lifestyle, a much more fulfilled and full experience, a rich experience where you're actually happy and you like what's going on in your life. Because you made a decision to say that, you know what? This little time that I have where I'm actually aware, and I hope that you were aware through this video, you listen closely to what you can do to make some changes. I'm gonna apply it now, and I'm gonna put it into my daily routines. You can write a list, you can make a calendar and say, okay, I'm gonna put three ticks for each of these three steps and do them daily. It's that simple. You know, I began my life just with the incantations and the videos and writing a little self-image exercise every morning, reading some books and some audio, and before you know it, you begin becoming the person that you wanna be. It really doesn't have to be that complicated, so I hope that this has been useful to you. And if it was, leave a comment below. Also, give a thumbs up, like, Share the video, subscribe for daily videos, and I will see you on the next one. Peace.